Hello and welcome to Geo Workshops. Today I'm going to walk you through some um, demos on the Project and Define production tools. I've already opened my data, but you can find the information on how to open it through um, the lab exercise you have in the projections folder. I'll also be using the same examples from the slide, so if you want to follow along, um, this may help you. Let's start by just right-clicking on the data frame layers at the top of the table of contents. Let's go down to Properties. coordinate system and read the um, coordinate system that the layer is in. So here we see it's a NAD 1983 UTM zone 18N. Remember that. Let's click OK. Now let's check the um, arrow image we have. So we're going to right click, click on properties, and scroll down under the source tab until you see the projection information under spatial reference. And here we see it matches. It's NAT83 UTM zone 18N. So that's important. We want to have everything in the same coordinate system. So go down to OK. If you haven't done so already, add your streets data, which is under the GIS data projection shapefile folder. When you add it, um, you may get an error that has uh, an error saying about the projection not being there or not being able to draw the lines. So let's click on the properties and see what the projection is. Under the source tab, we see the coordinate system is listed as undefined. And that's no good. We need to have it defined so that we can work with the data. Let's click OK and let's see where it is drawing this. So let's go to the full extend button to see if our um, data layers line up. Well, we have dot up here and a dot all the way down here at the bottom. So we're going to have to fix this problem in order to do some analysis for our work. So define, to define the, the coordinate system for a shapefile, you're going to have to go under um, the toolbox, which you can access up here. And I already have it open because it takes a while to load. Go under the data management tools, projections and transformations, Let's go down to define projection. Let's go ahead and select in the drop down the streets layer. And for our coordinate system, we're going to want to select it. So we're going to go to select projected coordinate systems, state plane, NAD83 US feet. We're going to scroll over to refine Pennsylvania. And we want Pennsylvania South, not North. Let's click on Apply. Click OK. Let's click OK again. So it looks like our projection is complete. So now our streets layer is where you want it to be on top of the aerial image. So now that we've done the define projection tool, let's work with the project tool. The project tool can be thought of as a read project tool where you have a data set and you want the projection to change from one to another. So we just use define projections for our streets. Let's look at our buildings outlines. We see when we go down to properties that it's in the NAD83 UTM zone 18 north. But say we want to match it to match our streets projection. We're going to use the project tool found under um, the data management tools, projections and transformation. If you go down under feature, you'll see projects. Our input data set is going to the building's outline. And our output data set is what we're going to rename the file because it'll uh, once we use the project tool, a new shape file will be generated. So let's call it buildings prj for project. 
the output coordinate system is what we want it to um, to be. So in this case, we want it to match the streets. So we can import. You can also select, as I showed you, through the define prediction tool. So let's select our streets layer. Click add. Click OK. And as you can see, the datums for both the old projection and the new projection are in NAD83. So we're not going to need a geographic transformation. If the datums are different, say NAD27, for example, or WGS, um, will, a green little button would appear here, um, and that will indicate that you need to use a data transformation. But since we don't, we're just going to click, to click OK here. Okay, and it works, and a new shapefile is added to our data set. So this is the end of the projection and defined projection demonstration. You can get more information under the lecture file, and um, there's also a glossary and uh, other sources available for you. So thank you again for joining us at GeoWorkshops.